So first, I'm, I'm really happy to be part of this event. And I, I thank, you, thank you and the Fedrugoni team to, for this invitation. Uh, so my name is uh, Thomas Nicole. I live in Paris. I've been the senior graphic designer for two and a half years now for the luxury house Givenchy, which is part of the LVMH group. I, pre I was previously manager of a graphic team for the luxury house uh, Christian Louboutin. And I've worked for various communication, packaging, and brand, brand identity agencies, such as uh, BTC Design of the Havas Group, CBA, or a fashion house, uh, Catherine Monreno in New York. Uh, I studied graphic arts for five years at Essac Penningen in Paris. And I uh, graduated in uh, 2006 with a master's degree in uh, art direction. So since the beginning, the beginning of my career, already 15 years now, uh, Pepper has been omnipresent in my creations and continues to be, even if the communication of brand uh, as uh, greatly evolved since then, of course. So if you want to have a look at my work during my speech or after, you can go online at www.thomasnicole.fr. And you'll see all the work I did for near than 50 years now, and you will understand why I'm so connected with the print world. You just need to click on the print section. Um, so I'm going to start now um, my speech. So since the, the creation of uh, paper in China in the third century before Christ, uh, paper has undergone great te technical developments. Since the 19th century, Europe uh, has also greatly evolved its manufacturing process, more than two million years old, bringing precision and variety of applications to the service of communication professions. And I'm the happy beneficiary every day. Um, so um, I was able, able to, to get a concrete idea of the technical nature of this industry uh, when I had the, the chance to be invited by uh, Miriam Kermene and uh, Stéphanie Pierquin to visit the Fedrigoni factory at Lac Garda in the province of Verona in Italy. It was a great uh, moment I spent with, uh, with you, with you guys. And it's hard to imagine uh, how Fedrigoni uh, brings meticulousness to every stage of its paper making and tries to improve its processes in order to live with, uh, with the times and adapt to the new standards of ecological and quality regulations that are required today, uh, not only by their customers, but, only by, uh, but also by um, governments. So as a graphic designer, um, paper is um, the raw material for my creations and sometimes the starting point of uh, graphic ID. It reveals the aesthetic of, of a project it transcends it by highlighting and accentuating a graphic concept. Sometimes it even makes up for an idea that seems a rage when you see it on a computer screen. Um, but when it's printed, it takes on its full force and meaning. So it, it adds more power to, to some concepts sometimes. When, when we work with paper, we take the, the decision to, to be part of the timeless aesthetic also to be aware of uh, its uh, ancestral value in order to create the future. And by the nobility of its material, paper has always been essential for important communications. Today is just as essential for me. It is as essential for me, who works for Givenchy. It was also the case when I was graphic manager for Christian Boutin. Um, paper is a common point of uh, all luxury houses. It remains the ultimate means for most prestigious communications. It complements digital communications, but remains the key medium to communicate to our luxury clientele. I, I can notice it, among other things, when I work on invitations for Givenchy fashion shows, for example, both for the ready-to-wear or haute couture collections. Uh, guests probably, probably still can't imagine receiving a digital invitation which, which, it, which is not valuable as receiving an object, for which I've taken great care in the details and extreme meticulousness in its realization with my suppliers. When I work uh, on a paper project, I always think of it as, as an object, a small handcrafted work, and not just a simple means of communication. For paper is above all the elements that text in light, 
that has a certain volume, a color, a precise shape that lives in, that lives in the environment of the person who receives it. It's not insignificant to, to create a paper project because it lives physically, and there is no other way to get rid of it, I would say, than by throwing it in the trash. And in fact, the process of throwing away a paper support is less easy to me than it seems, and I think some people feel the same because we know the value of what is printing and, and all the steps involved in producing it. That's what makes it so special. We can't we can just crawl a piece of paper to make it disappear. We can choose to put this object on a table, a shelf, to keep it with us for a week, a month, a year, or even a lifetime. And my goal is to remain as long as possible with the person for whom it is intended, that he becomes aware of all the attention I've given to its realization as a historical trace of my work for these luxury brands, houses. Um, <clears throat> you, you can forget the, the existence, uh, its existence, leave it in the, cor in the corner. And it's for me my, my greatest satisfaction to rediscover by accident the paper project that I, I, I put aside, archived or, of luxury houses or graphic design agencies that I admire. So um, what does it imply today to, to create paper supports in a, in a world overwhelmed by the, the digital? It's a, it's a bit like in music when a, a musician creates an album. In the end, you quickly zap to listen to a specific song, but you don't listen to the musical work as a whole. You no longer try to find coherence between all the songs produced, the harmony and tonality that the artist has tried to express, so thought his work. And today we fracture the listening of an album to keep only one track or two, selected quickly according to our mood or a specific moment. And it's the same when a brand communicates today. It creates assets to consume right away, immediately, but in, which is a good thing for its daily presence uh, that its followers ask for on social networks. Um, on social networks, and because our need for images is infinite today, uh, but on the other end, it destroys time. Printing communications allows us to counterbalance this acceleration of communication. It opens up a perspective, extends time, and our ability to focus on brand communication. Our direction doesn't stop at creating Im images to broadcast them on a virtual network, but at thinking about a tool, a physical object, which will encompass the content to give it all its aesthetic coherence and an overall discourse. It's not possible today to, to think of a container with social networks because their the interface is, is the same for all brands. So this is also the difference between print and, and digital. Um, moreover, in printed communication, the part given to the text can be more important. We can highlight it more efficiently and not just write a short caption or a hashtag under an image. For me, writing is one of the elements that is really disappearing in brand communication since the arrival of uh, social media. So it's not insignificant to create a project on paper because it requires an, an artistic vision pushed to the smallest details. When we receive a paper communication support, it forces us to, to think more deeply about what we see time stands still and we are not just in the act of seeing, but in the experience of looking and touching and sometimes even feeling. It appeals to many of our sense, senses. It is complementary to the digital world. That's why we need, we need both of them, but just used in different ways. For a wide, fast, instantaneous communication, we, turn, we can turn to digital, but when, when it comes to communication that requires you to take time to, to settle down, to come back to it. And, and I feel like that paper is, is for me the, the best ally. Uh, at Givenchy, I, I create the, the graphic identity of important events, both on paper and digitally. They have to help each, each other, each with their respective tasks to serve a creative concept. And this is why luxury houses will never give up this medium because it's a vector of craftsmanship they claim, of an exceptional quality of work at the service of their clients. 
And it is thanks to, to industrial groups such as uh, Fedrigoni, knowing their logos, of uh, constantly wanting to, to, more, to, to move that, their industry forward, pushing back technical and creative limits that we can best serve with the help of uh, talented printers, uh, the clients of, of uh, our houses. So, um, yes, thanks uh, for having listened listen to me. Uh, and uh, I uh, hand it uh, up to you now. Hey.